I'm going to register one at a time. No. Eric Bledsoe was this song that I had in my head for years. I had the concept since 2018. I had moved to Canada. I was going through like so much already, just having to move, leave my friends, leave my country. And I'm like, dang, well, if I have to dip, at least I'll still have basketball to keep me sane because that's what I did for my mental sanity. And then all of a sudden it's like, nah, bro, you're sick sick. Like your muscles are decaying. You can't play basketball. And I was like, dang, stuck inside of a basement. Like I'm stuck inside a tomb. And then that kind of became the premise of Eric Bledsoe. Of course, Eric Bledsoe had that iconic tweet in 2017 um, that said he didn't want to be in Phoenix anymore. He just said, I don't want to be here. And like a real G, it's still up on his Twitter, so you know he meant it. And I just, you know, that kind of resonated with me after I moved here. Not saying I don't love Canada now, I do. I really love being here. But during that time, and still every now and then, I'm like, man, I don't really want to be in the position I'm in. What's the best way to display that? The best way I know how is to write it in a song. Or do you want to kind of drop that and flip the vibe totally? Yeah, I want to, well, I want to drop the strings, at least for now. And we, like, if we can't find something that fits really, really well, then we can try to reincorporate the strings. Man, I remember Odyssey and I were debating back and forth, like, who should sing this chorus? And I had a couple different people in my head, and I just wasn't sure, you know? It's one of those things where you don't, want to jump the gun because this song is so personal and so vulnerable that the feature has to absolutely nail it and as much as i would have loved to sing it i'm not a singer so i had to really think about it i had to pray about it man and eventually i hit up t sam yo so when apex hit me up about the album um i'll be honest at first i didn't know it wasn't an album uh when i was making the song but i remember just like and telling me, yo, this is like gonna be on the album. This is gonna be uh, probably one of the best tracks on the album. And I was just kind of like honored because I was like, when you take a risk like that, you really don't know what you're getting yourself into. Because um, me and me and Apex, I mean, we've never met really in person. Um, so taking a risk like that um, is very big. And so um, I'm glad it did turn out the way it did. Honestly, Tyler blows me away, man. <laughs> like, his talent, his diversity is so awesome and unique. And I'm honestly surprised that he hasn't blown up yet. But who knows, maybe if the right person hears this feature, he will. Honestly, my first initial reaction to the song uh, was just this person begging for freedom. Because um, you kind of hear implements throughout it, throughout the song of this person like trying to find freedom from things that they bring on to themselves or things that other people bring into their lives and even recording it I had to like put myself in that state of like and make me think of times you know like 
where have I been in these situations? Because I have been in those places before. Um, but yeah, I had to put myself in those situations in that, in that mind state when recording this. So You know, the song is so personal, um, but at the same time, I know it's a sentiment that a lot of people can resonate with. So as much as I kind of debated in the beginning of including this song or not, uh, ultimately I decided to because I guess if there's one thing I wanted to pinpoint people get out of this song, it's just like, you know, it's okay to feel um, sad. It's okay to go through a season of depression even, but it's not the end. And that's why this song is in the middle of the album and not at the end of the album. That's why this song wasn't released as a single. If you just keep listening, you know that there is hope. There is a way out of the feeling of whatever you're going through. And just like Eric Bledsoe eventually got traded to Milwaukee, you can get out of your situation too. So um, I guess my message would be keep going. I appreciate everyone watching this. Um, if you're new, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't heard Eric Bledsoe yet, be sure to go listen. If you haven't heard the album yet, be sure to go stream it. And uh, I'll see y'all next time.